FXB, just making a short video on the scope and how you can adjust it. Uh, it's, the, it's a fantastic uh, part of the, you know, the ICOM lineup. So uh, have a look, see what you think. M0 FXB, I'm going to do this video on the scope of the ICOM 705. So we're on 40 meters here. Give you an idea of There's a bit of activity. Nice to see a bit of activity. It's coming up for 9 a.m. this morning. So if you look at my scope, you've got the the green uh, area going up and down. Uh, behind that, there's a red area, um, which sort of remembers how high the green area went, so the peak. And then as it trails down, you you know, you've got that sort of matrix look. Gives you an idea of the, you know, what the band's like. So with the settings I've got now, what you there's a couple of things you could do to make uh, to make stations stand out. You could use the RF gain by going hitting the AF button, lowering the RF gain. And as you can see, <coughs> you've um you know, stations are standing out now. That's left S left T eight there. So it's easier to find people. Um but obviously that reduces you get your gain. So another way you could do it um is you could go into function menu number one and you could attenuate it so I've held my finger on the preamp button and if we go out of there and again you can you can pick out stations so there's one way of doing it that's quite a big effect. Now if we go back to the preamp and turn it on, look what it does. They're all still there, but it, it brings in everything. It's still workable. You just have to um, search a bit harder to find the stations within the, the the noise. Now another way of doing it is see the REF button, tap that, and you've got this this screen come up, and you can look. You can if you turn it one way, it reduces the dB. So it's like turning the RF squelch, but only on the visual side of it. So that's probably the recommended way mm. I mean, if anyone's interested in what antenna I'm using it is literally just a G5RV I have got a tuner connected LDG AT I think it's a 100 Pro um, which does seem to to work let's give it a quick whistle no, it doesn't even move. Let's turn the um, power right out. Well, we'll go halfway first. We're only two and a half watts because we're on a battery. So you've got low SWR there. And again. So back to the ref. So when you tap that, you can go the other way. You can actually bring in more. And then if you hold your finger on the default button, it brings it back to where it would normally be. So I think what I normally do is I won't have the function on, I'm sorry, the preamp on. And then I'll, I'll just back the squelch off a little bit. And then I'll sit about, that's what I do. Now let's go by the colors that you can see. So if you hold your finger on this EXPD set button, you go into a menu here, 
where you can start choosing the different colors that you want so and the max hold now in the background you had that red sort of background that showed the peaks of the signals so you can decide you know how many seconds you want that to be now the fill center you can choose between these three same goes for the carrier point fill center and carrier points so i'll change it to fill center that's i'm not really sure what it will do um i've never used averaging so that's another manual look in the manual but let's just select if you just put two right i know in the waveform line you can choose between fill in line and fill so i've put fill in line i've actually got a black line outlining the waveform and then i've chose the green and the max hold in the background i've at the moment it's red it doesn't have to be i could change that if we tap it let's bring in another color and then let's go let's, let's make it blue so just so you can see the difference there you go a nice blue waterfall display you can actually turn that off and what we'll do in a minute we'll turn it off and we'll go back to it and see what it does but right now it's on waterfall size expand screen let's go to large uh, peak color level grid a don't know what that means waterfall marker auto hide i don't like that head so i'm gonna turn that off let's see we are just playing now you can fix the edges of the thing you can see that there <clears throat> so again it's experimentation what what you like i mean they've, they've done a fantastic job of this so expand yeah it goes a little bit wider and you click ex click that one so let's turn the rf gain off, up to its normal amount so can you see what it's done there it's it's, it's made the back a dark blue you still got the green part um, let's go to if you hit I tend to always hit um, center fix uh, but I'll hit it again and then I can move so what that I think what that auto hide has done it stopped me having to try and find that line so I think I'm glad about that so I think what I would like is the I do like a bit of red in there. I think it, when you've got a bit of red, it makes it look a bit nicer. So well, let's try, let's just hold down the, <coughs> let's go back to the fill in line. You can change the color of the line. It's black at the moment. Now, if I make the line red, see if that looks better. Yeah, I like that. So you've got the, you know, the, frequencies in yellow the red line over them now I, I think you can actually make them bigger so they stand out a bit more uh, I'm not sure which one it is we'll, we'll try and find waveform type fill in line yeah I like that narrow I'm not sure what that means so we'll do wide VBW Auto hide, peak color level, grid eight, fixed edges. Well, I think I'll leave it as that, but the idea is just to give you an idea of, oh, that's a bit blurry. So I didn't like that setting. So we'll have to change that. So we'll hit that again. Now we've got to remember how we did that. Scope, what's that say at the top? Scope during TX center type on max hold, fill in center, averaging, waveform color, waterfall display, 
Yeah, well, I will work it out. Um, so you get the idea that you've got full control of what you want the scope to be. It's a fantastic scope and um, you can really see the band. Uh, same for the 7300 and the 9700. Uh, so hope this uh, you find this video interesting. Please subscribe and hit the like. 7-3.